Hello and welcome to the Science Fury. I didn't upload for quite a while, but now I'm making this project. That's a 400 milliwatt transmitter, or actually this is just a PCB for now. But I etched the PCB. I have the um, circuit from my website. They provide a parts list, a um, circuit and a layout and also the PCB layout to etch the circuit board. I etched this um, already. So if you want to see how to etch a circuit board, I have a video about that. The circuit board actually doesn't look too good. I don't know what happened there, but it's fine for the transmitter. However, I also changed the design they suggest to put a cable from this pad or all around to this pad, which is a plus. And I, why not uh, etch this into the circuit board? So I made this a bit bigger and um, put a trace to the plus um, pad. So why not do that? But they suggest to put a wire, a physical wire around the circuit board and I just changed that in an art program and then etched the circuit board. All right, that's the circuit diagram. And I guess I will just start from uh, left to right and place the components onto there. So this side is here and I will place the components as stated here. So there's nothing much to say about that and I guess I will do this now and yeah. So I started by soldering all the resistors in place. After that the very cap to control the frequency of the transmitter. Then I continued with all the capacitors and all the electrolytic capacitors. And after that the first transistor. And then the transistors for the amplifiers. And then I made the coils and they're made by wrapping wire around a 7mm drill bit. Then I added the trimmer capacitors but the space is a bit tight because the design is for trimmer capacitors that are facing up and not facing to the side like here. At the trimmer capacitors I added a piece of coaxial cable. This would go to the antenna, but in my case I soldered two 100 ohm resistors in parallel to it to form a 50 ohm dummy load. Then I soldered on the audio input and with some pieces of wire for extension the potentiometers. One potentiometer is to set the frequency and one potentiometer is to change the audio. And then the transmitter is complete. Unfortunately for me it didn't work the first time. I then made a new circuit board that actually turned out cleaner and I only soldered the oscillator together. And after the oscillator worked I soldered the rest together and then the transmitter worked. You still have to adjust the output filter with the two capacitors and I'm doing this with the RF meter that I made in another video. And you adjust the output filter until you have the maximum voltage on the meter. So that's how the transmitter sounds. The audio is pretty good, pretty okay. So the uh, signal is not very clean. Like you have all these side things on other frequencies. And I think if you scroll around here, you will find other frequencies where it's transmitting on. Yeah, here on the side, if you scroll here. I think that's from the transmitter as well, this little thing here on uh, 89.4, let's see, yeah that's from the transmitter. 
Uh, so it's not really clean, unfortunately. So I'm still running this on the dummy load uh, on the true resistors because I don't want to put this thing on the air with an antenna if it's that bad. Uh, so I still have to work on this. I'm not sure if this transmitter design is just bad or if I can fix this by um, putting some metal between here, like um, between the stages, between the uh, oscillator and between the between the oscillator and the amplifier to shield the inductances and maybe shield like these inductances like this one and this one maybe that's uh, that's going to solve it but I'm not sure if it does so yeah that's a bit problematic with this transmitter so I would be careful putting this thing on the air so 100 megahertz 96 95 94 3 oh yeah oh look at that that's bad it's transmitting everywhere like up from 91.9 to 92 megahertz <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's still pretty bad and I have to fix this, but else the transmitter is pretty good and it has a lot of power. So that's nice. So I put a piece of PCB here. It's wrapped in paper, so it's not shorting out anything. And it does look a bit cleaner. So the frequency seems not to be like up to here and stuff. So it looks better. Maybe I'll, I'll increase the shielding and check this probably another station. Ooh, that's probably me as well. No normal radio station has is such, such a broadband signal. So it's transmitting on multiple frequencies. Damn. So I'm transmitting on 88 and on 89. Yeah, I noticed this earlier that it's transmitting on two frequencies, so not only total unclean but on another frequency. But the shielding seems to do something and makes it a bit better. So maybe I will do like all around the inductors and stuff like that. I mean, I can try to put this away if the signal gets worse, but it's not, hmm. not sure. So yeah, the transmitter is a bit unclean. I wouldn't put this on the air. Um, I will try to improve some things, but not in this video. So, if you like this video or if you have any questions about the transmitter, then leave them in the comments below. And until next time, bye!